I find it interesting that, you know, first off, that, that you, you say your writing of Goodwill Hunting was a means to give yourself a job. Um, but I also wonder about the, the sort of good fallout from that. Um, and I wonder if it changed the conversation in terms of going into audition or to, to try to get roles in the future. Being a writer, if that, if that sort of changed the, the conversation for you about the job, and, and put you in a different position than other actors. Yeah, and in a couple ways. One was that um, from from the moment Goodwill Hunting came out, um, <clears throat> I think directors looked at me differently in the sense that you know there's always kind of a creative uh, team, you know, like a little group that's you know brain trust that's sure. making a movie, and the director is the boss, you know, it's a, it's a dictatorship, a, you know, it's a benevolent dictatorship, and it has to be for it to work. There has to be one person making all the decisions. But, you know, invited into that kind of group are, are the other people that the director leans on and trusts, and 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 it's really your, everyone's job to throw ideas at the director, and then the director is the arbiter of taste and the final judge about what's going to happen and what's not. But, but being seen as a writer allowed me to be taken into that group. So, you know, I went and did The Talented Mr. Ripley right after. And Anthony Mangala, who directed it, was, uh, was really solicitous of my opinions and, and, and ideas. And, um, you know, that movie, and I love that movie, um, is very much his film. I mean, he is the director of the movie. But it felt to me like a partnership. And all of these, these uh, experiences that I've had subsequently really felt like Partnerships. Now, granted, as the actor, you're the junior partner, right? Because it's it's a director's medium. But you have you can have a huge impact. You know, depending on how you and the director, you know, how how your tastes are aligned, you can have a huge impact on, you know, the movies that that you're making. To continue the off-camera experience, visit offcamera.com. Get full access to additional content podcast and the off-camera magazine because the best conversations happen off-camera.